As home embroiders, we like to be able to see a design in actual thread colors before stitching it. Let's see how we can work with colors in Hatch Personalizer. We have two places to work with color in this level. One is the Design Colors toolbar, which is down here. And as I hover over a color, you can see that these are Madeira Classic. We have six colors. They're all used. And we know that because of the little tab in the upper right-hand corner. This color has an extra box around it. And that's because it is the active color. And we can see the active color over here. The other place is the Thread Stalker. The Thread Stalker shows us our currently active thread chart. In this case, it's Isochord. Now we have two more places where we can see how colors are used in the design. One is the Design Information Docker on the Thread Colors tab. And here you can see a list of the colors. Notice that there are 12 colors listed here, but we really only have six colors in our design. That's because we have repeated colors. If I slide the scroll bar over, we can see the name of the color, the brand, and the color code, which is the thread number, length, and stitches. I'll close that, and we can open the Sequence Stalker. The Sequence Stalker also shows us a list of all the objects and the colors assigned. So here we can see that color number one is actually color number six, and it's these feathers. Color number two is color number one, and it has more feather detail. Now this is a group design. When we open designs in Personalizer, they are grouped. We can't ungroup them, but we can still work with the individual colors. So let's see how. I can use the color picker tool, the eyedropper, and let's say that I want to change his feet. So notice when I click the eyedropper tool, the active color is now color number six, and I have a box around color number six. So that's what color is used there. If I want to see where all that color is used, I can click and hold on the color swatch. And we can see it's not just his feet. There are feathers and his eye. So if I want to change his feet, I'll click a new color. I'll click the picker tool. We'll click this turquoise. I'll click the paint bucket. And I can hover over an area. And notice that when I hover over just this foot, these other pieces are connected. It's because when we color designs in Personalizer, it's going to color the whole color block. If I look over here, I can see that color block is color number eight. Watch what happens when I pour paint on that. All those pieces have changed, and we can see that color number eight has changed. So we can also pour paint over here. Maybe I want color number one to also be this color. I'll just click and pour the color onto that one. So notice as I move the paint bucket tool over these, these objects are also highlighted. So I can change these colors the same way. Maybe I want this yellow to be turquoise. So the paint bucket tool is going to apply whatever color is in this swatch. I'll undo that. A key to using colors in Hatch is that the color must first exist down here on the colors bar for you to be able to use it in your design. We have all these colors over here in our thread stalker, but to be able to use one, we have to first add it to the colors bar. There are two ways to do that. We can use the Add button, and if I click the Add Design Color button, it adds a couple colors, and if I hover over those, those are isochord. Now it just so happens that it's isochord here and it's isochord here. It's adding isochord because isochord is the color applied to my default template. I'm going to quickly change a thread chart. We'll change this to Madeira Classic since that's what our design uses. I'll click OK. Now my thread chart is Madeira Classic. And now as I double click colors, they are added over here and now they're Madeira Classics. If I click the Add button, it's still Isochord. This is the active color. It's the most recently added color. You can see that it's active over there. And if I use the paint bucket tool there and change his feet, we can see that now they've been changed to that color, and this is an isochord color. I'll press Escape to release the tool. If I want to change all of the objects in my design that use this color, I'll select it, and then I'll click a new color over here. Just single click, and that has changed it.
So to change a color down here, select it, single left click on a color in your thread stalker. To add a new color, double click, and it adds it to the end of the colors bar. We've quickly covered how to color designs in Hatch. You may want to look at the Academy lessons on the thread stalker and optimize thread colors in the customized design toolbox to learn more about related tools.